not creepy at all. Um, it's in the same place where I got Mad Father and Witch House Eve, Crookman, Mermaid Swamp, um, Boogeyman. Oh, and speaking of Boogeyman, I'm going to play it later. There we go. There we go. There we go. So, you can't tell what he's reading from behind. A copy of the local newspaper. The letters are all jammed up. Painting error. The man is reading the forward of the of what we breathe. By gentle, gentle children habits, their parents traits. But what other traits might they re receive from us that we may not realize? We teach them our customs, our culture. Some have argued that even criminal behavior may be an out of hand trait. And it's equally important to consider the opposite question. What don't we be we The man should say glare at you. Your event bothering him. Boy sleeping in front of the textbook, he must be a student. You're not even going to take a look at it. You don't want to fall asleep next to him. Oh, hi. Where have you been? Coming by a lot. Just ask me if there's anything you're ah, looking for. She fell asleep? She fell asleep? The hell? Sister are arguing. Well, one is. What? What? What was even the deal with that? Shouldn't she be able to know a reading at the age? Well, she kind of shuddered, and maybe it's a development issue. Oh God damn it! Close. Well, whatever. That still doesn't concern the ending too. Why wouldn't they be able to happen together? Not everything has to have a. Not this again. Why would I be reading if I don't want a happy ending? Well. Right. I'm just walking around to see. Making the way through Miss Cake and the Cookie Cake. Huh? Wanna read too? Shake your head or. What kind of weird now that I make think about it? Oh, let's read this. The boy reading the missile volumes of Sin and Party. Some pretty heavy stuff for his age. Perhaps not everything as it seems. Okay. Leslie Flames caught your eye. It's fantasy story, but I heard the ending is pretty dark. You'll pass on it for now. There's a book called The Funny Story. That story wasn't funny. Ha. Look. Look called What is Our World? What is our world? Can we even know? The further the past grows, the less certain it becomes. Can it change? Did it already? Who created us? Did she once? Did no more? When we forget, does it really go? What is our world? What it, it, that is what we make of it. I don't have any idea what this book is talking about. Um, right. let's go up. <clears throat> a book called Scenery stands out of the shelf to take a look at the book cover. Alan comes to the mysterious place soon realizing 
that the memories are gone. He feels about that life is spinning out of his control. Meeting mysterious girl, he begins to slowly remember his past, but he must come to the terms that the reality of it, it doesn't seem like your more kind of book. Oh, I wanted to know what the thing was. You gave me a cliffhanger. <sighs> Alice, where did you go? I need to tell her that Gamble is definitely in the dictionary. Why did she think it wasn't? Okay, so. Alice, you're a dick. Clone book. First, let me read this. Huh? You. You read this book. Hello, I'm Al Alice. I was about to downheart girl who was visiting by an alien, an alien one day and eventually was able to go into alien's planet. And the ending seems a pretty uptight, but you'd think the two of them end up being happy together. Nope. The book is titled The Illusion of Choice. You read a few random pages in the middle. Our world is grounded by one called the Order of Choice. Thought it was an iconic title. Every choice we believe ourselves to decide the fact made by her. But that's not it says. Everything is... Sorry, well, let me just move my cam just for you guys to see me. Because I don't know, because every time I do, it's always up to here or something. This is great, powerful outcome, and some she created time for our choices every single time. But for what does she, who, does she who has never committed to be a choice except to one day select a single bunch of her waste trees? Why do we all know this? Because she has chosen to tell us. You heard about this before, but you're unsure how of it you believe. Okay, let's read this. This book is just lying on the floor. Like Bertha. The pages are blank? What the hell? What the hell? What what the hell? No, 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 no. What's happening? I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. What's happening? I don't know. Oh god, it's getting dark! I can't see. Huh? Huh? What are you looking for, Liber? Thought the book is insane. Only the first page has anything written. As expected, the music is louder than me. You might find it here, or you might not find it anywhere. I'm not going to decide that you will leave such a spot on you. We'll go now. Found you, bastard. And your first decision has already been made. There is no turning back now. The only one. I 
saw something. the world is just is always fuzzy if things were near then they were clear but if they were far they were fuzzy it only made sense she knew herself the people close to her were favorite things they wasn't so fuzzy everything everyone and everything else looked fuzzy but isn't that how it's supposed to be begins guys don't go out to anyone if you know me keep me well you may just take me to your grave what am i can you tell the page has an s on it you think you might want to write an answer but you don't think anything right with it. okay let me think um what was the question again question is, I don't go out anymore, go out to anyone, if you know me, keep me well, you may just take me to your grave, what am I, there's an S on it, I'm thinking that it's a shadow, I'm thinking shadow, okay, we have to find a pen, we have to find a pen, somewhere, Unbreakable wall. There were once three mice terrorizing by a dead full snake. Time and time again, the snake would attempt to eat the mice, but the mice only narrowly escaped until one day the snake did eat one of the mice. The others then knew they had to do something. One windy day, when the snake then did not attack, the mice built a great wall to keep it out. So proud were the two mice of their wall, one ch taunted at the snake to break it. The snake mashed, smashed through the wall like wall weight paper and ate both of the snakes. The end. Door's locked. Oh wow. That's supposed to be called the unbreakable wall. Oh, to them, they might have thought it was unbreakable. Uh -huh. Oh crap, an ice thing. I hate these ones. They're always so confusing. But sometimes... Oh, never mind. I died. Did I? Did I die? Huh? Fear of no unknown. What do we know about the other people? What can we know about the other people? No matter how intimidated we know of a person, 
we can hear hardly ever known of them. But only make use there are things we don't even out themselves. What the? What the heck is that? Oh crap! So proud of the two mice of wall attempt to break it. They smash it through like the wallpaper. And they both just this mice. Um closing time. X late into the night there will come a time where everything has to be closed down. Closing my book. Closing my window.